Hello beautiful souls, this is Poonam Kaur and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, we are going to discuss something very different, very unique, yet very much connected with, with each and every one of us. It is the existence of God. How God came into existence. And if this topic interests you, stay tuned. ancient civilizations or maybe before that when humans were not as evolved as they are today it was just the beginning of the human race and as we all know that initially when we came into existence we were the hunters we had to hunt to survive or to live and we could only hunt during the daytime because during the night time there was zero visibility for humans eyes and the hunters at times were got hunted by other hunters other animals because animals used to hunt during the night so during that point of time when humans learned that we can only hunt during the day because we can see clearly during the day and during the night we are not able to see clearly then what they started doing they started worshipping the light and there was only one source of light that was sun yes so they started worshipping the sun so that the sun keeps showing them light and keeps protecting them because they learned that it's only light that can keep them safe because in the night there are dangers for them as well so this is how the light was worshipped by humans and later on the light became the symbolism of God or we can say the God became the symbol of light because in these days also whenever we talk about God we talk about light what is God? God is light and what is demon? Demon is dark. Why? Because during the light, we can see clearly. Light shows us the right path. And during the dark, we may take a detour because we are not able to see clearly during the dark. Now, I hope you understand why this light and dark light forces dark forces god forces demon forces how these things came into existence plus there is something very interesting uh, also came into existence with this as the earth is, is huge big and people were not living in the one place they were scattered all over the earth into different terrains different weathers so if some people were living um, in deserts, let's say, there they had some limitations and they had some rules that if they'll be wasting water, they won't be able to grow crops, they won't be able to survive without water. So they had to follow certain rules to live their life peacefully and in a balanced way so what happened they also used to worship God God the Sun the light they used to worship that that Sun that light to protect them to not be harsh on them so that they can live a balanced life because otherwise it will be difficult for them to survive if the sun is very harsh on them this is how the rules came into existence that if you will not follow certain rules 
God is going to punish you. Now you understand how these rules were made as per God's existence or as per God's will. On the other hand, those people who were living in, in the snowbound areas, in cold areas, they also started worshipping the God, the light, the sun, so that sun keeps them warm and keeps them alive. Now you understand how these rules came into existence and how God came into existence and how and why these polarities, light and dark, have been uh, the symbols of God and demon. And then, as we started evolving, we started developing our own language, our own system, then we started giving the name of that light as per our own imaginations or as per our own thinking. This is how you understand, this is how there was one light initially, there was one sun and it was divided into many rays and it was named, uh, it was named after many gods. This is how one god, one light was divided into many rays and was given many names. I hope you many doubts got clear today through this video. I hope this video answered many of your questions. If you like the video, do hit the like button and if you have any questions, queries and doubts, do let me know in the comment section below. I would love to answer them. I'll see you next time. Till then, stay happy, stay healthy, stay fit, stay in high vibes and remember, the sky is to fly. Namaste.